This is an animal with a reputation. The snake-eating, jackal-chasing, bad news, honey badger. Legend of the African savanna and the internet. Honey badger don't care. It just takes what it wants, right? The real story is much more fascinating. A year in the life of one badger will show us just how amazing this creature is. And if it truly lives up to its reputation as the most fearless beast in the animal kingdom. The Southern Kalahari, honey badger territory. Honey badgers are nature's zombies. At least that's the legend. This rare footage captures remarkable behavior that made the honey badger famous. A male honey badger hunts a puff adder, a deadly snake capable of killing a human. hungry enough to risk the threat of a deadly bite he strikes a blow with his teeth and kills the snake but in the process he got bit on the cheek and now snake venom flows through his veins life drains from the badger two hours later he comes back from the dead and gets on with dinner How did the honey badger do this? Such a feat takes months of learning and adapting, and they have an important teacher, mother. For the first 12 months of life, honey badgers stick close to mom. When they're old enough to strike out on their own, they're well trained in the lessons of the hunt. Without a mother, a baby badger's chances of survival aren't good. And that's the predicament this little badger found herself in. When she was only a couple weeks old, she lost her mother to a pack of dogs. Now, she's in the care of two wildlife experts. They named her Badgie, and are stepping in as surrogate moms. They plan to teach her enough about being a honey badger so she can someday survive on her own. And she'll have a few things to show them and us. A never before seen close up window into the world of a honey badger. First, she's introduced to her very own home in the backyard. Badgie has only nine months to learn the ropes before her guardians leave her to fend for herself. A thin wire is all that separates her from being truly wild. There's a good reason why she's locked up. The Kalahari is a hostile and dangerous place. Like other badgers here, she'll be faced with much bigger, faster, and more powerful predators than her own kind. This is cheetah country. Hyenas hunt here, and are known to easily crush a badger skull. And the fierce Kalahari lions won't hesitate to take out an inexperienced badger. Honey badgers learn many clever defenses. First, face your foe. Stand your ground and confuse the enemy. If that doesn't work, activate your anal gland 
and emit a nasty odor. If all fails and you are captured, don't go down without a fight. These lions have caught a honey badger, but its skin is so tough, they're having a hard time striking the final blow. Honey badger's skin is only loosely connected to muscle, making it almost impossible for a predator to get a grip. The badger makes the lions work hard for their dinner. By dawn, he finally gives up. Badgy is safe for now, but it won't be long before she has to step into the wild for the first time. Day one in the Kalahari for Badgy. If she sticks close to the sneakers, she should be safe. Just out the gate, she can't resist the many new smells and loses her guardian. It's her first attempt at hunting. A badger's sense of smell is hundreds of times better than ours. No wonder she's confused. Too much information at once. With practice, she will learn to focus her nose on one scent trail at a time. She might have more luck with something buried underground. Badgers are natural born diggers. Their inch and a half claws help dig fast and dig deep. They can dig 50 holes in a forage. She's doing a good job, but forgets something. To look up. Baboons are territorial. A big male is four times the size of Badgie. A powerful bite to the skull, and it would all be over. One by one, the baboons move in. Most animals see a pack of wild dogs and run the other way. That's not Honey Badger's style. He lunges towards these predators twice his size. Offense is the best defense. Badgie hasn't learned this trick yet. In fact, she's so into digging, she's not even aware of any threat. She's never faced a troop of wild animals before, let alone ones with dagger-like teeth. Patchy finally stops digging to look for her surrogate mom, but the sneakers are nowhere to be found. The dominant males move in. Intruders must be challenged. Suddenly, she smells them. She must find the sneakers. She retraces her steps, trying to separate out her protector's scent trail. It leads her directly to the target, just in time. Humans scare baboons. The troop backs down. For Badgie, it's a valuable lesson. Keep your eyes peeled and stay alert. Week two for Badgie. Her nose and natural curiosity lead her to the wide-ranging sights of the Kalahari.
she's learning to forage, a honey badger specialty. On the menu, just about everything. Not that Badgie's having much luck so far. Honey badgers tend to forage and hunt solo. Short, thick legs and muscular shoulders give the honey badger the appearance of a mean, low-riding machine. Shape-shifting creatures that fit through a huge variety of holes and nooks. Persistent poking around helps them find food. But also gets them into trouble with things that bite and things that sting. And yet they still go after meals of pain because honey badgers got a workaround. This male approaches a beehive. Bees sting to defend the hive, and most animals know it. So does the badger. But does he care? He wants his honeybee larvae. After all, he's a honey badger. Skin so thick, it's like military armor. And he's got window-like flaps over his ears that close during an attack. But the most powerful defense we can't see, resistance to venom. Honey badgers seem to have protection from venom. And this comes in handy where some of the world's most deadly snakes roam. A badger spots a cobra and approaches. The cobra has few enemies, but it doesn't want to get close to a honey badger. The snake tries to hightail it up a tree. Honey badger always has a plan B. The snake jumps to escape. The badger gets his snake and a fang full of cobra venom. Yet he will survive as long as he's properly inoculated. It's Badgie's first scorpion encounter. A meal that's bound to hurt, if she can capture it. To the experienced badger, the reward of this protein pack is worth the pain. Mothers often bite off the stinger for their cub's first scorpion hunt. But Badgie's guardian offers the whole enchilada. the honey badger dance. Couple steps forward, a few steps back. She really wants it, but knows enough to be cautious. Her guardian gives her an advantage by containing her quarry. Clearly, her snout's not the right tool. But then, she grasps a new concept, the claw as scoop. Distracted by her victory, she forgets the original goal. Temporarily. Not bad for a first try. 
Now, she'll need to find one on her own. They wait for nightfall when scorpions come out to hunt. It's harder to see, but a badger's sense of smell works just as well in the dark. And if you bring along an ultraviolet light, scorpions will glow. She's on to one. Like a pro, she goes for the stinger first. She's figured out how to self-medicate all on her own. Or perhaps a dash of venom simply makes the whole meal tastier. Kalahari heat builds, and animals hide from the scorching African sun, or find ways to shade themselves. Badgy has her own way of cooling off. Honey badgers are related to otters and are almost as good at swimming. It seems she's outgrown the baby pool. She may be ready for something bigger. Perhaps she can swim at a nearby watering hole. It looks crowded, but she goes to inspect. On her way to the water, she finds a strange creature. A meal, a toy, a playmate? isn't going to come out and play. Maybe the warthogs will. But what Badgie doesn't realize is that warthogs don't play with badgers. They mess with them. Badgie gains more confidence with every trip into the wild. And she's allowed more independence. On her way to the watering hole, she comes face to face with a creature she's never seen before today. She's more curious than scared, but that soon changes. A lesser creature would be badly wounded, but Badgie's thick skin probably saves her here. She retreats, but then turns around, makes the honey badger backward move. Her first aggressive defense at least she's savvy enough to know when to call it quits. Badgie is now five months old, and she's ready for one of the most important lessons in her badger education. How to climb a tree. Honey badgers frequently conduct high-rise raids, targeting weaver bird nests and goshawk chicks. For this lesson, Badgie will need a little incentive, dead mouse scent. She's off to a good start, but it's all downhill from here. 
Perhaps she's still too young. She and her claws may have some more growing to do. Tree climbing is essential not just to capture birds and rodents, but something even bigger. Leopards are Africa's best climbing predators, and they're also one of the badger's biggest threats. But if a badger plays its cards just right, it'll outsmart the leopard and get a mega meal. Leopards kill much bigger prey than the badger can, and they often stash food high up trees, out of reach for most competitors. But not for those with superb climbing skills. Well, the cat's away, the badger plays with Leopard's Supper. Before Badgie learns to steal, she's got to master the climb. At seven months old, she's now a teenager in Badger terms. She'd still be with her mother if she had one. It's time for her second tree test. She's off to a shaky start but digs in and keeps going. Her claws have reached their full length, longer than a black bear's. Black bears heavily rely on their strong claws to haul their massive bulk high up trees. A black bear can weigh over 200 pounds, and its claws are one and a quarter inches long. But a badger averages 20 pounds, and its claws are a quarter inch longer. Like a fistful of ice picks. She can smell food up here, somewhere. Badgie doesn't win any points for Grace, but she's got the hang of it. She hits the jackpot, a planted dead mouse. She prefers to eat on the ground. Soon, she'll be climbing her way to the top. Snakes and leopard kills are in her sights. A girl can dream. School's out for the day, but Badgie's not done exploring. Perhaps emboldened by her success, she takes off into the bush on her own. Soon, Guardian and Badger are separated. At night, Leopards and lions come out to hunt. She's never spent a night on her own, and her guardians aren't sure she's ready. Days pass. Badgie's enclosure remains empty, and reports of leopards in the area intensify the search. The search for lost Badgie continues, but the odds of finding her are diminishing. It's a needle in a haystack venture in this landscape. Female honey badgers can roam 50 square miles in a day. Add to that the subterranean world where badgers make their homes. She could be anywhere. 
The underground Kalahari housing market is very competitive. The labyrinth of tunnels and chambers is prime real estate. Aardvarks, meerkats, badgers, they all want a piece of it. Some build their own, only to be ousted by an aggressive neighbor. Badgie's surrogate mother approaches a burrow. Badgie emerges from what looks like her very own den, a home of her own. She's doing all right. A little extra nourishment, and her guardian makes the tough decision to let Badgie continue on her own. This time, she succeeds and marches the thing out. But this is just the beginning. It could return through another door. She must get the intruder out of the area. The eerie quill quiver is a warning, much like the rattlesnake's rattle before a bite. The hollow spines clicking together generate the racket. Badgie tries another end. She knows there's a price to pay for roaming. She tries to stay put, but eventually, hunger drives her out. On the surface, it doesn't look like there's a lot to eat here. But she knows a secret animal world thrives in the dark basement of the Kalahari. The best way to get there is to dig. So far, Badgie hasn't perfected the big dig enough to make headway. But she's been practicing. And it's finally paid off. Tunneling mouse. She's not the quickest badger in the desert, but at least her sense of smell has matured and is keeping her on the right track.
Badgers often blow into holes and listen for prey moving below. something and puts those front claws to work again. All that shifted earth attracts other hunters. She's exposing easy pickings for the anteating chat. Everyone's feasting except the badger. She goes back to her hole, digs even deeper. successful hunt. Every day is a new triumph, but she hasn't proven herself a wild honey badger until she succeeds at the ultimate hunt. Weeks pass and Badgie grows towards adulthood. She's 12 months old now. If she had a mother, she'd probably still be with her, learning the secrets of hunting. But she's now figuring it out all on her own. Today, she crosses paths with the creature that will test her true grit. It was bound to happen soon. With no mother to teach or protect her, the challenge may be too much. Will she run or will she fight? It's a rite of passage for a honey badger a test of its wits, stamina, and strength. Snakes make up more than half the honey badger's diet in summer months. If Badgie doesn't learn how to battle a snake, she'll starve. Badgie discovers a three-foot constrictor. She's hungry. This is the most dangerous dinner she's encountered. In defense, it can bite her with its needle-sharp teeth. the log, a great badger hunting technique to flush out hiding prey. No one taught her this. Instinct has kicked in. It works. And now they face each other out in the open. takes her off guard. She's never seen anything this fast. I hit straight to the eye. 
probably the most vulnerable part of a badger. She doesn't like it one bit. It's a battle of reflexes, and the snake's winning. If she can just bite it, she'll be at an advantage. But the snake's defense is masterful. So she shifts the angle of attack. for cover, but then turns around, sends a direct hit to the lip. Finally, she works out that the snake can't strike to the side, and she nails it. Her first snake kill and a victory that has bumped up her chances of surviving on her own. In her first year of life, Badgie's proven she can hunt.